the most obvious example of the problem with just going after calories without addressing a high insulin would be perhaps like the biggest loser where you never see a reunion tour with those poor contestants because they gain everything back right hunger always wins <laughs> it's true um i definitely we're, we're gonna i want to get more into some of what you touched on but i i kind of want to just complete this um you know talk about a little bit more about what's the underlying cause of insulin resistance we've talked about diet composition mm -hmm. um, that's a big one what about meal frequency? So how often you're eating, if you're a snacker, if you're when you're eating, if you're late night eating yeah. or if you're a shift worker, yeah. how does that play a role? Yeah. Oh, well, we pity the, the shift workers and bless them for everything they're doing for community, but that's the worst way to do it. So um, with regards to meal frequency, I think that our the advice that we've been giving since the 19 unofficially since the 1960s, officially since the late 1970s of high carb diet, and then what transitioned into with the food guide pyramid, and then what transitioned into eating multiple small meals per day. I think the proof is in the pudding, which is that's how most people eat. They eat a starchy, sugary, terrible breakfast, then they need a mid morning snack, and then they need a lunch, then they need an afternoon snack, and then dinner, then an evening snack. We can see the consequences, which is insulin resistance and obesity are the most common problems. Even where obesity is not common, insulin resistance is still common. For, um, not to go on a tangent too much, but even countries like Japan or Singapore, my second home, one of my kids was born there. I did my fellowship in Singapore. Why would the beautiful little island of Singapore care so much about diabetes when the average Singaporean is incredibly lean because their rates of diabetes are higher than ours by a lot. We're not even close to the most diabetic country, and that actually comes back to how we store fat. 